right, good morning. It is seven o'clock. I think they don't start unloading until, uh, what'd you say, eight o'clock? Yeah. Man, it stormed like crazy last night. When I got out last night, what would we, oh, we got out to let the dogs out. This whole area was flooded. Hey, come on, let's go potty. Oh, we got some trucks lined up. We got the axle moved over. Oh, hold on, Matt. But we didn't get, uh, we didn't get it tightened back up. So, we're, not, oh, I don't know if I told you guys. We've got a, uh, Mason found us a pick. We're gonna pick up here in Memphis, and we go to, uh, Canton, Ohio, supposed to be some uh, metal bars. Make sure we're not holding anyone up. Some metal bars going to Canton, Ohio. So depending on where this pickup is, we'll determine on if I take it to a shop to let them tighten them nuts up before we pick up or after we pick up. Guys, stop pulling me. So. It is 36 degrees out here in Memphis, Tennessee right now. Freezing. Let's not walk through that mud, girls. Come this way. There you go. Got them lined up again this morning. I hope the crane... Oh, that guy's trying to find his way in. Yeah. Our first night, we drove around this place. We couldn't find our, our way in. No, you can't turn that. He's trying to turn in there. Oh, it's almost like... They need to put instructions on this paperwork. What are you trying to do? Hey, let's go. All right, let's get these doggies walked and uh, hopefully they'll start unloading us soon. Oh, there's, yeah, these are golf balls out here, huh? Yeah. Well, it's now 8.38. Looks like they're getting the crane set up. Lita's back here making some breakfast. Are you doing the um, peppers with the egg inside? Yeah. Oh, nice. You should show them how you're doing it. Because they are pretty good. Yeah. Are they cooking right now in there? No, they're done. Oh, they're done? Yeah. Mackie's passed out. Look at her all sleepy. Where's Fat Butts? Why are you hiding? What you hiding for? It looks like we're just gonna pull up. They're just gonna reach over to the road and pull, pull it off. Well, we're next in line, but they gotta move the crane forward now, so. Looks like we got uh, 21 minutes to our next pickup. It is currently 9.31. Guess we'll have to see. I don't know, we might have to get loaded before we get these sure U-bolts tightened. I'm sure we're gonna have to. how long it takes them to get you unloaded here 
I mean, we were third in line and it still took two hours. I just don't think they have their, uh, the crane part figured out. There's gotta be a more efficient way to do that. Another big thing this time though was, uh, they didn't want you to unstrap or unchain until you were under the crane. Some type of safety thing, I imagine. So that's really slowing things up too, because all those guys back behind us could have been unstrapping, unchaining, and they could just pull up, they could hook to it, pull it off. Honestly, with a big outfit like this, they just need to invest in one of those forklifts that were that picked this up and put it on the trailer. Yeah, they I mean, quit screwing around with the crane. Yeah. Get you one of those forklifts, boom, on and off, on and off. It's a one person job. You don't need six people out there moving a crane around, telling you where to put it. And you can literally just pick it up, drive it over and set it down and you're done. Even if you have to rent one. I mean, I imagine renting one of them forklifts couldn't be any more expensive than renting a crane and then having to pay six people to stand around with their finger in their nose. I mean, I guess they're, the crane people are right here, yeah. but maybe that would be something for the crane company to invest in. Like if this company's hiring that crane company to come over and unload these, just get you one of those forklifts. Yeah, but they don't care how long it takes because they're getting paid by the hour. I know, but I mean. They don't care how long it takes. They get paid by the hour. The longer that crane sits out there, the more they get paid. So they're going to be as slow as they want to be. I guess I guess there is something in that. It's like government work. Go ahead, boss. You got it. All right. So 20 minutes to shoot over there with these bars or whatever. Hey, that toolbox is falling. That's that trailer that they added that section to the back. Yeah. I didn't know they actually used that thing. They're actually using that trailer that I took video and pictures of last time we were here where they added like a three foot section that folds on the trailer. That's wild, dude. That is wild. I mean, I guess it, maybe it just goes around this and does uh, Probably not though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? All right, so we'll see you guys in 20 minutes.
wait in line again. We are loaded up. It's supposed to be uh, 42,000 pounds of metal. No tarp. <laughs> but let's see, we were uh, 34,000 empty. I think we were almost 76,000. So I don't think it was quite 42,000. <sighs> Maybe it was, I don't know. It's pretty cold out here. My maths, my maths might not be right. Ooh, they put all these stupid little tees stuck down in here, but a lot of them are super wobbly. They'll just end up falling off and getting in the highway. These are to keep these separated. Some of them work, some of them don't. Kind of a nightmare, honestly. They need to figure out something better than that. But we got in and out of here really fast. I mean, I don't know if you guys seen, I don't know when I turned the camera on, but we basically pulled in behind another truck. You have to call the scale house. It was on hold with the scale house for quite a bit, but then they let us cut the guy in front of us. And then we went and scaled and got loaded and then cut a bunch of people there too. I guess uh, maybe it wasn't their appointment time yet. That still seems super tight or super loose on this side, but it's super tight on the other. But we might have to drive down the road, let this thing kind of work itself out and, Pretty tighten that thing because I was I was jumping up and down on this thing and couldn't get it to tighten up anymore. Yeah. Well let's shoot down the road. I think uh Canton, Ohio is like 700 something miles. So we need to find a shop to tighten those lug nuts up for us or those uh U-bolt nuts and we'll be good to go. Hey babies you ready to go bye bye? Let's go bye bye. Watch out, Peppers. Get truck and trailer repair on the left.
we thought we could uh, just do it out here in the parking lot. They can't get to uh, one of the U-bolts, um, the inner U-bolt, because the tire's in the way. So I think they're gonna try to jack it up, loosen that U-bolt. We're gonna try to slide that thing over and then tighten it back down. Awesome people here. All right, we are buttoned up and done. They weren't even gonna charge me for it. Really? Nope. That's crazy. You yeah, they're like, don't worry about it. So I uh, I gave each technician, because there's two different guys working on it, I, ga I gave them 100 bucks a split. Nice. Yeah. And uh, we're straightened up now, so. That is awesome. Uh, this place is called uh, Dig It. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Where are we Dig at? It, uh, truck and Dig It Truck and Trailer Repair in Jackson, Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome guys. Fantastic. Everybody else is busy. Yeah, everybody else is busy. Everybody's like, oh, we can't get to you. We can't get to you. Tried Loves. Tried a TA where we got fuel at. Yeah, I know. I now know why that TA was so cheap because it was kind of a nightmare to get in and out of. So, anyways, it looks like we have nine hours. I mean, nine hours and fifteen minutes to get there, and we have eight hours and forty minutes on. Oh, I can't get out this way unless this is an automatic gate that opens up. doesn't look to be <laughs> right nope it's not opening all right that sucks wish I'd have known that I would have went around the other way all right guys we're gonna hit the road their own like dirt hauling company oh yeah well I mean they have I, I forgot to mention they've got a driver's lounge here if your truck's getting worked on they got a pool table in there I think they have showers in there but I didn't go snooping too bad, but they've got... Uh, what she said? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, here we go. That's them right there. Parking and storage, new and used tires. Truck and trailer repair. I mean, I don't know if they can like do an end frame or anything like that but something minor in three quarters of a mile turn left on i probably be all right all right let's hit this road again
you go to leave, you have to pass over this fail. I-70 is closed. Switching to a new route. No, it's not. Shut up. Does it? No parking overnight. No parking anytime overnight. I don't like talking. Oh, where are we at? I don't know. We slept on a uh, on-ramp last night. We drove till uh, 1230. We're in Jeffersonville. 23 degrees outside. That's not that bad. That's pretty cold. Considering we just left Georgia at like 75. Yeah. So we, sl we drove till about 1230 last night. It is now 919. Put in a PC mode so we can come over here and get some breakfast since we can't technically start driving until 10:30. Um, we don't have another load yet. We're kind of at that weird point right now where, since we're going to be dropping it so late, like today's Thursday, since we're going to be dropping it so late on Thursday, if we pick something up today, we'll probably be dropping it like late Friday, and that would screw us on a weekend load. So what we normally try to do is find something that's like short and sweet where we can guarantee a Friday load. Problem is um, we wasn't exactly sure when we were gonna be, I guess, dropping this yeah. because they said we have to have an appointment and to call a number and the number nobody ever answers. Yeah. That's actually ice right there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so we don't know what it's going to be like when we get there to unload. She said it's first come, first serve. The, the broker, broker did? said it's first come, first So the serve. broker says it's first come, first serve, but the paperwork that they hand you says you have to make an appointment. So yeah. I don't know. We'll have to see. She was like, that's outdated. I was like, okay. That's outdated? <laughs> it's like, I wish they would get there together. Yeah. So we'll probably grab us some quick breakfast here at the Country Pride and then uh, when we can drive, go ahead and push this on out. I feel like the, the trailer's sitting more level. I did look at that arm and the airbag. The airbag doesn't seem to be quite as perfectly vertical as it was. Yeah, I think that airbag bag is messed up. Um, it's just been like this way for so long now it's that yeah, way I don't know. for good i mean honestly like it's got a spring in it so it's, it seemed like they were struggling to get the on those lug nuts so what what the place did that replaced the u-bolts was they they used really long u-bolts and it looks like they cut the side towards the tire but they didn't cut the side away from the tire that's why we had to cut those um, and then when they went to go put their impact on the side towards the tire, their socket wasn't deep enough. So it's like, how did they get the how did they get the nuts tight enough? They so, didn't. Rather than them having to take all the tires Aww. off, having to recut the bolts, I basically told them do the best you can do. And if I have to take the tires off later, and then cut the bolts so we can get a deep well socket on there, then so be it. Hey, if you go poop, you can go back in the truck. That's all you got to do. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. I slept pretty good last night. You said you slept okay? Yeah, I slept alright. Other than, I had my alarm set till like 9 or 9.30 and then Mason calls me at 8 o'clock this morning. Yeah. I'm like, dang it. dumped right now 
Every time we set your parking brake on this trailer, it kind of dumps the bags. We'll see if we can see it though. Yeah, see, you can still see it's still kind of leaning some. But I think it's a, a whole lot better. Doesn't seem like there's a gap here in the cradle. Let me see if I can flush that out. No, there's still that gap over there. This thing still isn't straight. It's still not straight. They had it straight. You know, they had it straight, but then they had me pull up on that wood block. Yeah. I wonder if that messed it up. Maybe. Because they couldn't get to this side of the U-bolt. I'll have to fix it when I get home. That's why I try to do everything myself, because I know somebody else is going to mess it up. So we've arrived in Canton, Ohio. Oh, I don't want to unstrap yet because I don't know where exactly they want me. Seems like they didn't know we were coming. Nobody knows what's going on. Pretty much the per usual at your shipping or receiving place. Usually receiving, usually receiving is like, I had no idea you were coming. At least shipping usually knows that you're there to pick up something. So, we end up grabbing a load for tomorrow. We're picking up a load tomorrow. Going to South Carolina somewhere. So we'll pick that up. Tomorrow's Friday. We'll pick that up and we'll drop Monday. Which kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. But. Got to keep these wheels rolling to make some money. Huh, Mackie? you're not doing anything to make any money huh we need like a dog food company to reach out and be like we want your dog on our dog food bag here is a million dollars huh say I would do it I'll eat everything oh so I guess we'll see oh I see a little bitty forklift hauling butt coming out here bro you better bring something bigger than that because that is not going to work I don't know if that's the guy I talked to inside or not. Like it. You don't know. You weren't inside. We walked outside with you. Hey. How you doing? I hate to tell you this, but I just found out they don't they don't receive steel after one o'clock. Yeah, nobody told us that. Well, that's not good. I don't know why. Yeah, that seems crazy I mean, to me. Yeah.
they're in that office now? Yeah. I guess I need to do that. They gave us a number to call and we've been calling it all day long and nobody's answered. Yeah. Because they said they said we needed an appointment. So we've been trying to call and make an appointment, nobody to answer, so we let the broker know and the broker's like, no, it's Uh, which one is it? Uh, 330-447-4511. They didn't answer all Nobody's this? answered. We've been calling. We've been blowing this number up. I left a voicemail. We even left a... She said she left a... Yeah, she said she left a voicemail. So if they had gotten back to me, I would have known that we couldn't unload till after yeah. one. Yeah, because they should. And they sent you to the saw department. Ugh. I guess I'll walk down there and talk to her. 